Hello everyone, Prince Kitty here. Welcome back to Undertale. Story's not going to be so happy this time. But first, obligatory text. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Uh, well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you! You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline. And sit back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power... I don't know... I don't know that power. That's the power we were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I want to use, but now... The idea of resetting everything... I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So, please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories, too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, but haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later. Later, Flowey. But this is tailing my last playthrough of the game, where... This is tailing my last Undertale playthrough, where I did a pacifist run. Nobody died. Everyone lived happily. So, <clears throat> if you haven't done the pacifist run yet, or to a lesser extent, if you haven't watched me do the pacifist run, I would encourage you to stop, do so, and then come back. Because, well... Let's say today. Today, I'm feeling a little devilish. Anyway, give me a minute. Ah, to rip everybody away from their timeline, to do something unspeakable, do something foul. Hmm. Ooh, I'm getting all tingly. <laughs> Oh, let's do it. Actually, we already did my 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 street my Steam name. Let's be a little, let's be a little more personal this time, a little more on the surface, if you will. We're going back to the underground, and things will not be so pleasant. No, 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 no. The pleasantries are done. Everybody lived once. <laughs> Not again. This time. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You, you're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Oh, you have no idea. Someone ought to teach you the, how things work around here. I guess a little of me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. I'm ready. See that heart? That's your soul. The very combination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. Now, I should stop it with this. Yes, I did voices the first time I did this. I'm going to do voices again. But that's because... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to do voices again. Simply because it was fun the first time, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna quote unquote reprise a few roles to be sound different, just a few. But I mean, the way we're doing this a different way, so things are gonna be a little more. Well, you'll see. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, I'll share lots with you too, buddy. 
I'll share a truckload. Love share through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Nah. I'm good. Thanks, though. Hey, buddy. You missed them. Let's try again, okay? You missed. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm into the bullets. Friendliness pellets. Nah. I know what's going on. Don't worry. Uh, I know all too well what's going on. You just wanted to see me suffer. Nah. You first. <laughs> Let's get this going a little bit quicker, huh? Ugh. And that's the one, that's the one person I don't want to see. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Oh, d don't be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Pass through this, I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen. You are the first human to come down here in a long time. Come. I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Oh, I'm going to do a speaker thing. So, if it hasn't clicked yet... Shadow the Runes looms above. If it hasn't... If it hasn't become apparent yet, I'm going to do something naughty. And let me to educate you in the operation of the runes. I'm going to see... I'm going to see that nobody makes it to the surface this time. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please, adjust yourself to the sight of them. I'm good. Let's move. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that need to be flipped. But now that I know what I'm doing, I can move a little bit quicker. So, bam. Although, splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. But things will not be as nice. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to prepare for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. When a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stop for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Toriel, you're in for a world, a world surprise. Hi, how are you, friend? Punch. We're done here. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. They're for talking. We don't know what to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. Oh, we're going to hurt a lot of people, Toriel. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I can. Excuse me. Hi, friend. How's it going? Punch! Your love increased. Hi, Toriel. <laughs> I'm going to be... Sorry, I'm going to be doing this creepy thing the whole time, I know. Okay, let me go. Oh, you're going to make me talk to you, huh? This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh. You're... Toriel, you and everybody else out there is not going to enjoy my company by the, end, by the time we're done here. Nobody's going to have a good time. No one. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Oh, are you sure? Nothing seems too dangerous at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to go like a full creeper. I apologize. But I kind of have to build up the character for this one. I would like to, you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I'm coming for you, Toriel. Coming for that buddy. For that buddy? Coming for that buddy? I'm coming for that buddy! Hey, buddy! Coming for that buddy! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Coming for that buddy! Okay, let's be real here. I'll come for that booty. <laughs> uh, the joys of trying to get into voice acting. You're behind the tutorial, I know. Hi. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. 
If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I'm a bad boy. Hello, this is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead I, that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Oh. Being good is something I don't do. So I'm going to try... Well, I will still do voices for everybody, but I will speed through a lot of things. I may also keep in fights, because... Like, look at... The, ah. Now he stood up to my attacks that time. Also, I heard that little... Ah! That must have been... I don't know if that's the frog in pain, or if that's me just kicking his butt. Wait, that's not the way I want to go, is it? Oh, right, that's something I never did in the first place. Up here is a candy dish. I will take some candy to heal. But that's all I need. That's all I need. Anyway. So, for this particular style of run... Uh, hmm, how quickly can I kill it? Uh, you're, you're not a cat. I mean, you tried. For the style of run, everything will die very quickly. I might start skipping some fights later on, but... Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Well, let's save cinnamon this time. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, this is Toriel. Do you not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Oh, you are not going to like what's going to happen, Toriel. Hello? You did not have any allergies, do you? Why, why am I asking? No reason, no reason at all. And... Ah, Wimson. I could spare it right now and just get the fight over with and be done with it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can remember this layout. The layout is down all the way. So there are some puzzles that I'm going to know the answer to. Uh, all the way over? Yep, I can do that. Okay, cool. There's, some, there's puzzles I'm going to know the answers to, which will help expedite everything in this. Oh. A little early. Dang it. I wish I had something. Man, did I actually play it like this before? Did, like, did I actually play the game like this before? This seems like I'm in a really small game window. Then again, I haven't been recording a lot of videos that have been in, like, 1080p super amazing quality. Meow. <laughs> You're trying so hard. It's cute! It's the, it's adorable! It's deadly! Can I level up yet? Sorry, but everything's gonna happen. Hello, rock. Third rock. Fourth rock. That doesn't... Um, I did. Hmm? So you're asking me to move. No, I, I punch you, but you're making me. You're making me ask. Huh? Alrighty. How's this? No. That was the wrong direction? Okay. I think I got it. Thank you, Rock. And double back. Huh? You want me to stay there? You give me a real workout. Just stay put, Rock. Don't worry. I will speak volumes of your accomplishments, of how Rock is good. It fills you with determination. I will save. Get my mouse back. Make the mouse squeak. It's stuck to the table. Oh. Well. Mouse try it. Ah. You, Napsterbluk. Are they gone yet? Let's go keep saying zzz out loud repeatedly. Protect sleep. Yes. Here comes Napstabluk. Here comes Mr. Stabby. You missed. All right, the snakes. Ow. I didn't even read it. I'm just uh, smacking them. <laughs> Sorry, Napstabluk. The faint odor of ectoplasm. Ah. Let's continue to punch. Um. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not even going to let him finish. I'm just going to go. It's 
I'm fine. Thanks. Well, we're done here. Goodbye, Nasta Bluke. Um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? That won't stop me from trying. We're sort of incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry, I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. You won. I lost an experience. <laughs> I lost one experience point. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Let me do this quick. Sure. I can use a spider donut just to be safe. I'm not gonna keep it for the for the secret. Ah, yes. Hi. Uh, I would rather not. I'd rather not. Okay. So the the oh. One frog is dead. There is a frog in the... There he is. There's an ant-sized frog in the crack in the wall. It waves at you. Oh, if only you come out, I would slap you. Oh, hi. Looks. Hey, looks. Let's look at, at the circumstances here. You should die. Please don't pick on me. Oh. Don't pick on you, you say. Well, is this picking on you if I stab you a bunch? What an eyesore. So yeah, as time will go on, I will... As time goes on, I will... Hey, I leveled up. <laughs> uh, as time goes on, I will start skipping fights. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I last cl I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, uh, but don't carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave the room in your pot leave room in your pockets for that oh and what's good things will I leave in my pockets well I'm gonna go ahead and just do every hole in the floor and fight a Vegetoid hello Vegetoid how are you doing today well we're doing this the hard way dude part of a complete breakfast so anyway now I don't know exactly what I'm getting myself into with this genocide run of sorts I'm a little frightened, to be honest, because I've been told it is... I'm told that it is borderline creepypasta. But... With that with that in mind, I'm still... I mean, I'm still going to go through with it. Just anticipate some point of me going, Oh, sweet Jesus God, why? Probably. I found a faded ribbon. Stats, faded ribbon, use it. There we go. I now have defense. More than like two defense for the times when I'm bad at games. Flip the switch so I can get out of here. And I think there's also, there's like another Vegetoid down here somewhere. And Napster looks down here somewhere. Ah, well that wasn't what I was expecting, but okay. Perfect. Alright, you know what? I've fought enough of these guys at some point that after this fight with the Vegetoid, any repeat fights, I'll start cutting out. Just so you guys don't have to watch it constantly. Because, I will level with you, this is kind of slow, tedious, and annoying. Alright, dead Vegetoid. Now, so there's more there's more things over here. I guess not here. I guess Napsplook would be down one of these holes normally. Which, that's an interesting thing, um, which I'll comment on after this fight's over. Give me one moment so the thing that comes to mind is with a game like Undertale it's so centric around characters and you'll forgive me for non-professionalism oh no forgive me forgive me for being for being too professional this game is centered around the characters that are in it if you kill any of the characters suddenly it become suddenly everything becomes press the switch Suddenly, the game becomes completely different because... Okay, we'll keep this in. It becomes very different because all the other characters are... All the other characters, you know, stop other characters from doing bad things to you. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm glad he's here for my health. But I'm not here for his health, sorry to say. Ow. A little lower. Goodbye. 
Nothing like alone time. Hi, dude. What's it going? Well, if he doesn't have care in the world, then he won't care if I murder him, will he? Well, apparently he doesn't care. Hey, touch me. Touch me. And let's have him go about his carefree lifestyle in the afterlife. But yeah, like a game like this that has so many different characters, you know. Uh, let's see, blue? Oh no, bad. Sort of pop out. Ah, gotcha. So is this one still. Okay. So it's different. Okay, so why is this now different and not working the way it should? <laughs> I guess I'll just hit everything until it makes sense. Yeah, it's... Poke? Yep. I forget what the whole secret of this thing is, but like... I'm just gonna have to hit the ones that are behind pillars. Yep. Hit the one that's behind a pillar and you win. I'm looking for a save point, because I forgot to start my timer. And you know what? This is probably good enough right here. So everybody, I do want to thank you so much for watching this episode of Undertale The Genocide Run. Kind of an unnecessary build up, but hey, it's in the title, so you should have known. I ask you to join me next time when we'll go ahead and continue being very naughty. I'll see you folks then.